What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a guide with the 12M Auto Shotgun. One of the most fun weapons to use in Battlefield 2042. It is super satisfying. I don't think it's overpowered. I heard some people say it's kind of overpowered. The reason why I don't think it's overpowered is because you can still get outgunned by some machine gun and assault rifle, point blank. The gun is actually insane for range. Uh, you will notice in some of these clips and what I'm showing right now is a little clip uh, where I just outplay the players from a pretty insane range. Um, and you would say, well, that seems a little bit OP. The problem with the shotgun is that point blank, I got outgunned by a lot of submachine guns and assault rifles. Uh, because the gun is never a one shot kill, no matter what you do. Uh, point blank, it's a two shot and most kills uh, were a three shot kill. It's a full auto gun, it's not semi-automatic. Um, and uh, there were some interesting things that is uh, that are good to know about this weapon, uh, which I'll be displaying right now. And it's about the hip fire accuracy and the laser sight. All right, so here I wanted to show you the hip fire uh, differences between using a laser, without a laser, and so on. I'm gonna try and keep the same distance. So this is just me standing up. This is me with a laser sight. And this is, well, crouch. Then we're gonna not equip the laser sight. All right, so you can see the difference. Uh, not too much difference within Ready the laser sight and without the laser sight. We can do it again. And then crouch is a lot more accurate. Like some of these shots are on top of each other, as you can see right here. And let's do it again here. Normal. Laser. Hip fire. Crouch. Same distance, hopefully. Moved a little bit. Again, you can see normal side, laser, not much difference, and then crouch. One more time, one more time, just to be sure. Let's do this wall, I tested this one. Let's do it from further away. Normal, laser, crouch. You see the laser and without the laser, there is not really much difference. And then crouch is definitely a lot more tight. All right, so now we know that uh, that laser sight is actually not too effective on this gun. Uh, this was a small test though. I didn't go all the way, uh, but I actually didn't use laser sight that much. Uh, so at the end, at the very end, uh, I don't have clips from this, but what worked the best for me is using the uh, flashlight. I stopped using the lay side, I used uh, lay side for most of these clips, uh, but in the end I started using flashlight, which worked just as great. The gun is actually very good without the flashlight. Um, if you want to go for those longer range kills, you have to crouch with the gun. You can see the, 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 the spread gets a lot less and you can actually outplay people very well from range. So what you want to be doing with this gun is force those like close mid range gunfights. Uh, don't get too close because you might get outgunned by the SMGs. Uh, it is obviously it's still a shotgun, so it will not be bad at all up close. But like for mid range, I found that's kind of the sweet spot, like mid close range. Um, and then for longer range kills, if they're not moving, go crouch. It will improve a lot and you will kill players a lot faster. Uh, so I want to go into the attachments right now. Uh, for a sight, Use whatever you want. 99.9% .9 of your kills should be hipfire kills anyways. Uh, so I would recommend using the iron sights. So you don't have too much in the way. I was using like, I think, I don't know, like a red dot sight for most of the time. I was kind of just for the memes, to be honest. Um, but for like, what the most effective is to not use the sight. So you don't have too much in the way of your screen. Uh, then you want to go for the drum mac, 100% the best uh, uh, mac capacity, and then I use the extended as a backup type of mac. Um, what a lot of people I saw use is they use the uh, slug shells for extended range. Uh, then you should start ADSing, otherwise you're going to be extremely um, inconsistent. So I recommend using the uh, drum or the extended. I didn't really use anything else. Uh, cause I was uh, like way too inconsistent with anything else to be honest that was left. 
Um, so these are the two mags I use. Uh, remember that if you're going to use the slug shells, which will give you increased range, you have to try an ADS, otherwise you're going to be extremely inconsistent. Uh, now, as I explained, I use the flashlight and then for barrel, I use nothing. Um, I got the silencers back of a short barrel, like those are the only barrels you can get. Um, I noticed that with this short barrel, um, as you want to actually be going for a little bit more mid-range gunfights, um, the short barrel uh, definitely reduces that effect. It increases the rate of fire, which is good. Uh, but the projectile velocity gets less, uh, which I found a little bit to be more inconsistent for the type of uh, gunfights I was trying to go for. Uh, but the short barrel is good and uh, the suppressor is actually pretty good as well. Um, so those are the four attachments I recommend using. Uh, maybe try out the grips, uh, but I just kind of like the flashlight since often I see people panic when I use the flashlight. Uh, and they can't really aim that properly anymore. So these are the attachments I recommend using. Um, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the clips. Got some clips from the highlights. Hopefully the guide was useful. If you want to see more guides, be sure to subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rest of the clips. Oh, they want to come back, dude. This house is mine. We just took an objective. Our troops are engaging at Charlie One. here it's actually kind of ridiculous look how many sentries are
Troops are assaulting Bravo 1. 